Hello, and in this video, we're going to be adding someone to a CC and a BCC to an outbound email service name. Hello, and welcome back. In this short video, we're going to be adding someone to an outbound email in service now, but we're going to add them as a CC or a BCC. Because it's not always the case you want to send an email direct to someone. Perhaps you just want to notify them just to let them know, right? It could perhaps be um, from the watch list or someone's line manager. In fact, actually, that's the scenario we're going to use. So we're going to take an incident and we're going to use the existing notification, which is when additional comments changes. But instead of putting the watch list as a two in the email address, we're going to put that as a CC and we're going to BCC the caller's line manager. So let's hop into the tool and see how it's done. So now we've got our incident, right? So we've got a caller, David Miller, and we're going to send the um, incident commented email to him. But we're also going to BCC his line manager. And in this case, that's David Liu. And we're going to CC in those in the watch list. So that's Abel Tutor and Abraham Lincoln. If we just test this out, when we add additional comments, we add in test, it's going to send an email. Let's go and take a look. But it's not going to CC. So let's just take a look and see what it says. Um, right out of the box, click on this one, and we've got, here we go, we've got Abraham Lincoln, David Miller, Abel Tutor. So these are all recipients of the email, but they're not kind of differentiated between CC or BCC. So let's go and do that. Let's pop into the notification itself, click on this, incident commented for ITIL, and here you can see these are the recipients, right? This is what you'd expect to see users, groups, and fields. So we don't want the watch list in here. We're going to take that out. We do want the caller. Just save that. And now if we click on advanced view, let's have a look, see if we can tick a box or something around that, that allows us to CC or BCC. Um, where you'd expect perhaps one to be in the who will receive uh, section, there isn't one. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to create something called a mail script. That's right, we're going to be doing some scripting. So let's have a look at how we do that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in mail scripts. That's what we need to apply. Um, the outbound email is a mail script. Then we're going to create a new one. Because we're going to CC and BCC, that's right, uh, we're going to call it CC BCC incident example. And this is where we're going to start adding our code, right? So let's handle the BCC first. BCC example, put in some comments. We're going to add email dot, and this is really useful, add address. So can type can be CC or BCC. This allows three parameters to be passed in. In this case, it's BCC. The next parameter is going to be the person's email address. So david.lu at da -da -da dot com. And then it'll be the person's name. Okay. So that alone um, is a bit of script, right? But we need to apply that script to the outbound notification. So what we're going to do, we're just going to save that. We've done our mail script. We're going to head back over to the notification and add that into the body of the email. So how do we do that? So we need to add in a line of code and that goes in dollar sign curly braces mail underscore script because that is what we've just created and then we need to get the name so we come back we get the name of the mail script add it in there we make sure there's no gaps or spaces click save so what that's going to do is when that sends the email it's going to call that mail script and it's going to run the script that's contained within it in this case it's going to hard code um, david lou into the bcc now, that's not great, is it? Because David Liu's not everyone's man a line manager. Well, he could be, but let's just pretend he's not. So what we need to do is make this a little bit more dynamic. So what we can do here is we can start using our scripting powers, our superpowers. We can start using uh, adding current dot caller ID. And then we're going to do um, manager. So we're dot walking going to do get ref record. This is actually going to get the record of the manager off the caller record. So 
Current is our incident. Caller ID is the caller associated to that incident. Manager, we've dot walked to the manager on the user record, and now we're getting the whole manager record back. Why are we doing that? So what we can do here is start putting in manager, which is our variable on line six dot email. Then we need the name here. So we'll just simply say manager dot name. Save that. So now what that'll do is that's going to be more dynamic. So for each incident, it's going to pick up the caller ID. It's going to grab the manager and it's going to get that record and it's going to put in the manager's email and the manager's name. If we wanted to be a bit more watertight, we could just say something like, oh, why have I done that? Ah, something. Oh. <laughs> uh, OK, we could do something like this. So what that would then say is if we have a manager, then um, do this. If we don't, it's not going to do it. And th there's lots of different ways you can do that on line seven as well. OK, so get, get valid record. So we could do that. I'm just going to take it out for the purpose of this. So that's going to add in. Oh, there we go. Um, so that's going to add in our BCC. So let's just head over, give it a quick test before we carry on with the watch list. Save that. Head over to our incident. Type in test. Post. Navigate to our email list. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay, and there we go. We look at this one. We can see it's now gone out to David Miller, um, specifically David Miller. But wait, we can't see any CC or BCC. And this is quite sneaky. So what we now need to do is we go to configure form layout. We go here. And now, if you haven't already got them on the form, you're going to need to do this. We go in copied and blind copied. All right, so we want to move those across. We're going to throw them underneath. Um, Recipient, where is recipient? Recipients, here we can go down here. And we're just going to put them underneath recipients. We're going to... Okay, so now we can see blind copy. We've now got David Liu, which is exactly what we wanted. Success. Let's move on to the watch list. So now we head over onto our mail script again. So we're going to add in some more code. This is going to be a bit more um, intensive than, than those two lines above. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to copy it in and then we're going to explain it rather than you watching me type because that never goes well. Pop that in there. Let's go through it and explain what that actually means. Make that a bit bigger for us as well. So line one, we're kind of saying, have we got something in the watch list? This is all this is doing is saying, look, let's get the watch list. If there's something in it, then on line 14, we want to split that via um, comma. So the watch list is a, a comma separated sys ID list. So we want to split it. Now what we're going to do is go to the user record or the user table, sorry, and we're going to look for those sys IDs on the user table. So sys IDs are unique identifying records, right? So we're going to find those records on the user table. We're also going to add in this um, line on 19, which is kind of saying, uh, am I able to send notifications to this person? So that's either yes or no on the user record. You might have seen it. Go and take a look. But it says, can you send notifications? Yes, we can. We're going to add in email. Has that person got an email address? That's all that's doing in line 21 is saying, I found the, the person by their ID. I know I can send them notifications. Now, have they actually got an email address that we can send a notification to? Then what we do on line uh, 24 and 26 is we start CCing that in. I'm just going to move these down to make it a bit, bit more obvious. Now what we're doing is in the while loop, which is saying, hey, while we've got all those users, in this case, it's going to be Abel and Abraham Lincoln. Um, now I want to CC them in using the similar logic to the that we've seen on um, line seven look. So the only di real difference here is BCC or CC. So we're putting in, there's too many CCs again. So we're putting in the person's email address and get display value this time. That's the same as what we're doing up here, manager.name. To be honest, best practice, or I should have probably done, is put value. But hey, okay, but we can do it either way. So if we save that, we come back over to our incident, click test again. Now we go back over to the emails, a quick refresh, click on that notification, 
And we can see here, look, we've got copied in Abel, Abraham Lincoln, BCC, David Liu. So I hope you found the video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. There's no hard sell. If you have subscribed again, I apologize as always, but thanks for putting up with me. And remember, smash the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos just like this one. Until next time, I've been Russ, and this is Service Nerd.